So hi everybody. Today we're going to look at how you can cluster text in Excel. Now, for those of you have, that are more well versed in Python and R, you probably have other ways to, you know, use k-means with, you know, tf, idf, transform text data and and do the clustering that way. Um, you know, maybe you run it through, you know, a sentence encoder or something like Google's Universal Sentence Encoder. I like to use that. Um, and then you cluster the features and all that kind of stuff using k-means, which is a totally valid way to do it. Um, but for those of you that are more into Excel, um, and Excel is just amazing for quick analyses that need to be turned around very quick, you know, at your job or something. Um, if you can do it in Excel and if you can do it quickly enough, um, it's the tool of choice. Now, something that's kind of hard to do in Excel is cluster text. Um, I kind of had to research a bit on how to do this, but I sort of stumbled on the way to do it now. And that's what I'm going to show you today. As an example data set, we have um, basically a list of titles, uh, job titles. And um, these are just kind of free text fields that were entered in some database. Oftentimes, at least when I've worked with such data, it comes with a lot of variations. Maybe there's typos in the text. Um, maybe like, you know, two jobs are obviously the same, but they're written differently. So this list, you know, it's a list of a, a roughly 5,000 well, exactly 5,000 job titles. And, you know, they come with all kinds of, you know, different variations, different ways of saying things, um, different ways of, of, of kind of listing the job title out. So what we're going to do here is try to cluster these into groups and then see if that helps us kind of narrow down or sort of group these things together instead of looking at all like the, the different, you know, very specific nuances of each. We may not be interested in that. We want just you know, different values that are obviously the same to be grouped together into the same group. So the data for this I got from uh, Data World. It's called Similar Job Titles. Um, so I just went ahead and made an account and downloaded this. And what I did is I just took the job title column. And so to kind of show you how this works, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, um, I'm going to first turn the entire well, first, this is the raw data. So I'm going to make another sheet called input data. And I'm just going to take a little bit of this. So let me make a row number column here. And I'm just going to create like a row number for each. So I have like, you know, oh, this is what row it is. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the filter on here. And I'm just going to grab just for testing. Um, the first, you know, let's say 2000 rows. So these are the first 2000 rows and I'm just going to take those and I'm going to paste them in here. And I'm going to just make that into a table. I like to give my tables a name, job titles. Now what we're going to do is we're going to load this into the Power Query Editor. And once it's a table, all you have to do is click on the data tab and then click on this button from table range and it'll create like a power query sort of table thing for you like this. Um, and this is here from before when I did it before. Let me just delete it because I want to show you from scratch. Um, but basically, once we have this, um, what we want to do is add another step. So our step here, which I right clicked and just inserted a step manually, I'm going to call this a uh, fuzzy matching. So there's actually a method. So you may be familiar with the group by um, uh, function here. When you hit group by on here, you can actually group by a field and then do some aggregation operation. Um, this is also another very useful feature in Power Query in Excel. Um, but for us, it doesn't really help us because it's going to group by each individual title and we want to group the titles themselves. So this doesn't really help us. But um, uh, if you look at this function called fuzzy group, um, you'll find this documentation on the method. And this is what we're going to use. So this groups the rows of table, so the input table, by fuzzily matching the values. And that's exactly what we want to do here. So let me show you. I'm going to copy the example here. And I'm going to hop back. And I'm going to just kind of make it work in here. So I pasted it in. So it's table.fuzzygroup, and this is our table here. So we just have to put that as the first 
sort of value in here. They have a sample table here they made from scratch, table from records, and they have the records of the table. We want to get rid of all that because we have our own table here. So um, this is our, our input table. And the next parameter we need to pass it, as it shows here, is the key. The key that you're going to aggregate on. So for us, if we go up a step, it's just title, so the title itself. So let's write title here. And then here's the kind of tricky part. Um, we don't want to count anything. We just want the values to get grouped as themselves. We want to return the actual titles. So we're not really interested in doing any aggregation per se. Um, what we really want is to group the things fuzzily. And then what we want to do is just um, make sure that they're kind of next to each other or together. And, you know, the way you do this is you define title as a column and then you do each and then you just pass it um, the field name like this. So if you're familiar with Power Query M language, this is kind of the syntax that comes out when you go to add column. If you go through add column, this is sort of like the, um, the sort of syntax it uses to, to create one. So that's what we're doing here. We're just saying um, take the table fuzzily group it on the title as the key and then as an aggregation do this which is just return the title just return the title as is and we go forward now these values here the last sort of parameter are just options so ignore the casing ignore the spacing we want to add another option here which is pretty important uh, threshold so threshold controls basically um, the strength of the match so here it's saying that if um, a threshold of one only allows exact matches, so this is strict matching. If we go to zero, then we would sort of match everything all over the place. Default value is 0.8. I'm going to set it to be a more strict value of um, 0 0.92 that I sort of played with that sort of gave me good results. Um, so let's go ahead and just hit that. Um, and then... We're having a issue title. Um, title. Oh, the field title already exists. So let's just call it um, uh, job title. It's fine. Doesn't matter. So now we run this, and then it returns a table like this, where we have each title, and we have a list. Um, so that corresponds to each title being sort of grouped into a list of titles and we can just go ahead and expand this to new rows and once we're done with that we can just go ahead and, and we can kind of start to see already that these project manager production matter project managers these all got lumped into one bucket which was named project manager and that came from the first value in the list over here you have all kinds of ways of writing director even in different languages and this is all director, right? Principal and principal, these got grouped together also. Uh, vice president, different ways of writing it got grouped together. Likewise with co-founder, general manager, and so on and so forth. So we can kind of, as, as we kind of scroll down this list, you know, you can already see that it really helped us to group these raw job titles together. Um, here, administrator is becomes a new category um, and all the different, kind of versions of administration fall here. Um, account executive, accounts executive, those got grouped together too, right here. So overall, it seems to be doing a pretty good job. Um, you know, in some cases, maybe it makes a mistake. Realtor and creator, those you may not want in the same bucket. This put them in the same bucket. So, you know, clustering is never perfect and you have to always check the results and modify manually post analysis, post the model run. Um, but this is, gets you, you know, a pretty good start project engineer group that looks pretty good. These all seem to be related to, you know, project engineering and stuff. So let's go ahead and load this to a table, well, to a sheet. Um, and let's just name it, um, job titles grouped, or maybe the word we like is clustered. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Um. You, you can kind of go through and spot check stuff and, you know, see how it looks. But um, that's the basic method. Um, 
you know, system administrator, those are spelled, you know, the small at S was added administrative officer, you know, that kind of makes sense. They're two different ways of, well, this is administrative and this is administration officer. So those should be grouped together. Office administrator, you just inverted the words, but it was able to kind of still group them together. Uh, likewise for coordinator. Um, so I think this is a pretty uh, useful thing to be able to do in Excel, um, to be able to group free text into um, groups, essentially clustering them just in Excel without having to turn to a different tool or anything like that. Um, and so if you're doing a quick analysis that needs to cluster text, this is your go-to method. Um, so yeah, I hope you liked the video. Let me know if you have any comments or questions. Um, and I'll see you next time.